Hey guys, hope you're all keeping well today. Um, today I decided to come on camera brow, browless, no, relatively browless, because <laughs> I wanted to show you guys um the way I fill in my brow uh, and achieve uh, those perfectly sculpted eyebrows. Because um, I've had a lot of people ask me about the way I do my brows, but I haven't had any video or any tutorial for this, so we're going to do that right away. So as you can see, my brow is literally close to invisible, so we're going to be filling that in. And um, to achieve that, we will be using a brow pencil or an eye pencil. And may I just say, make sure your pencils are well sharpened so you don't have, you know, excess linings in your brows because blunt pencils will just create excess products in your brow. So make sure it's well sharpened, almost felt tip. So, so in addition to that, you need an angled brush. Sorry, mine is chopped off. But yes, you need an angled brush if you're using my method. I also use this um, Gosh brow pen just to set all those all the products in place and kind of give it a like a tinted effect. And this is amazing that you should try it. And you need a concealer brush as well. Then of course you will be needing concealers. Now speaking of concealers. If you want, uh, depending on how much lift you want to your brow, you can go a shade lighter with your concealer when it comes to cleaning beneath your brows. But if you don't really want to lift and you just want it simple and casual, then always use a concealer your skin tone. This is a concealer my skin tone. This is a concealer two shades lighter than my skin tone because I don't have one that is just one shade like lighter than my skin tone so I'll be mixing those to create one that is one shade lighter than my skin tone I hope that makes sense <laughs> okay I hope you guys understood that but yes so depending on you know the desired lift you want or the kind of look you're going for you can go with a lighter concealer shade to your skin tone and also you would be needing uh, what's it called uh, <laughs> brown eyeshadow which we'll be filling in with the angled brush and you'll be needing a spoolie brush or a spoolie now those are everything you'll be needing and then we can get started let's get to it first thing you want to do is make sure you tuck your hair away once you've done that then brush your brow in place up and towards the end and another thing i must mention to you guys is it's very essential that you groom your brows you know there's so many methods of brow grooming out there you have the treading waxing and you could also use the brow um, grooming blade um, and you also have the tweezers, so make sure you try as much as possible to groom your brows if you want really nice and um, well sculpted eyebrows, just for you know easier definition. Now you want to kind of look out for sparse areas in your brow, like those areas that you know that you don't have as much hair as you desire, and then we'll just take our pencil. And we'll begin to fill in those first area very lightly so you want to use really light and for this you know I'm just filling in my own space area so just identify those areas where you think you need just a little bit more hair and then using very short strokes and light and to fill that in And make sure you're following the natural shape of your brow so and if you notice now I am NOT going to the front of my brow that is because I prefer to fill in the front of my brows 
with eyeshadow rather than using pencil because I feel like eyeshadow gives a more neutral uh, look to the front of the brows so it doesn't look like it's being drawn on. Now I also want to extend that the end of my brow so I'm just going to pull that line a bit more and you just use short strokes for this as well and you can see that it's extending really well and once you've extended to your own desire then feel free to stop and don't worry about any mistakes at this point we'll come back to correct that now I'll go on to the next eye Once you're happy with that and you filled in your sparse areas to your desire then we're just going to put away that pencil and then I like to at this point grab my angled brush and make sure in case you've used it the previous day you clean off any excess products so you can see that like, yeah then we're going to take our brown eyeshadow and then we're going to just dip that brush in ever so lightly you don't want much product on this brush you want as minimal product as possible and then you get that and then you begin to fit in the front of your brows using very light hand as well and you can see I keep pulling in and out so you pull it in and get the very tiny product and then begin to fill that in again so you start with very little products and then you gradually build that up and once you feel that to your desire go on and do the other eye so the same trick works and then do it as minimal as possible Just that with really little products to give you that good um, lighter natural effect to the front of your brow. It's almost like your own hair. So you want to brush it in like so. So make sure you feel that in until you're satisfied with the front shape. So once you you're happy with that then I take that same brush and I get more products on it more brown eyeshadow and then I go on to the rest of the brows this time and then begin to fill that in and make sure you don't go back to the front because now you have a lot of product on that brush so you want to just Follow the shape you've created with the pencil for the rest of the brow. Now once you've done that, then you can do it with your angled brush. And then now we're going to get our concealer. And like I mentioned before, I'm going to be mixing two shades. So I'm just going to do that real quick. And there it is. So now I'm just going to get my concealer brush and just begin to get that. And it's good when you put this on your skin because it's warm and it puts it on very lightly rather than thick application on your brow. So you just want to use that to clean beneath your brow and make sure you do this at your own pace. You can just use your finger to also warm that up into your skin or to the rest of your makeup. Once you've done that, you do the same. Repeat the same step for the other eye.
now once you've done that and you think you're happy with the what you can see then you can just go on and set everything in place with your brow pen if you would like more thicker or thinner then make sure you correct to your desire and uh, yeah so and also another thing I wanted to mention is some people like to go with the concealer above the brow feel free to do this if you need it personally for me I don't really do it as much as I used to so do that if you need some cleaning up above now I'm just going to do the last step which is to just set all that in place using this brow pen So there you go guys, that's my brow tutorial done and um, also you can set the concealer with like a champagne or cream eyeshadow as you wish. I'm just going to leave mine like this and um, yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys find this helpful and uh, I'll see you in my next video.